Welcome back to Texas. Well, we are still harvesting a massive, massive, massive field. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like we'll be here for a little while. Oh, what's going on over here? Okay, so we're in this tractor over here. So this particular map, as uh, can clearly be seen, we do have quite a lot of equipment. Okay, so we'll continue to collect straw. In a minute, we're gonna need to uh, to unload the combine, as you probably saw. So we'll catch up to our combine with the straw, and then we will uh, uh, empty the combine, uh, plow this field. Uh, I don't have the cash right now, but we are going to need to bring a plow here to actually um, to actually deal with the field and get it ready to harvest to harvest what am I saying? to seed something into it wow so let's get this done and then we'll um, we'll get uh, we'll get a uh, plow do I have a plow what plow do I have I've seen here mm. plow where is my plow I guess I have a decent sized plow nothing Nothing extravagant. Oh, go away. Nothing massive as far as getting things done. So maybe it wouldn't hurt to uh, bring the plow in and actually get it going. And this way we'll get a few things done at the same time. Um, I said that there's no chance that we are going to fill this trailer. I am starting to doubt that. Uh, I mean, I still believe that we won't get to the point where we will fill it, but we're at 70% and we are about halfway, 78% and we're about halfway. So I could be wrong. I could be very wrong very quickly. We could fill this. If we do, we're obviously just going to uh, uh, stop, uh, stop doing this and we're just going to chop the, the rest of the straw. Not that we even now going to need this, this the amount of straw that we have, but hey, just for the fun of it, we'll we'll get it um, get it to the point where we will collect as much straw as possible. And I'll stop here, and I'll go and get this guy over here, and we will run back towards the combine to empty it as much as we possibly can, and then and then. We will bring the plow and get the plow going as well. I like the fact that this tractor is very, very fast, so it gives me plenty of speed uh, on these really massive fields. Okay, so we'll wait till it's emptied or filled one or the other. It's unbelievable how, how big this uh, map is. When you look around, it's just unbelievably how small everything feels. Wait, why are you going so fast? Slow down a little bit. Now I'll speed up a little bit. There's no consistency in speed here. It looks like the combine is speeding already and we need to sort of speed up with it. So, put the cover on because we don't want to lose all our crop as we're going to empty this. I didn't bother to bring the truck in anymore. Probably should have, but I didn't. So, yeah, lots of fun. Lots and lots and lots of fun. Um, this is going to be a map where I'm going to have to get everything up to the max as far as the size is concerned. So, every single... Uh, implement that we have we'll have to get the biggest planters the biggest everything now i will get as we get cash i will get a second uh, head of corn header and a second uh, grain header because obviously we do have the two combines but we don't have the two headers so if we had the two headers it'd be fantastic because we would be able to unload and do everything a lot 
Okay, we're going to empty this. Is our, our the fields that we planted are they? Okay, so ten, nine and ten are growth stage. Oh, and number ten is to be fertilized. So let's get. Do you reckon? Just for the fun of it, I want to try this. It's gonna be a bit of a. I want to see. No. No. I would have honestly used that as my tractor to uh, do the plowing had it been. Uh, had I been able to do it. Okay, we'll get this guy, no doubt. Oh, whoa, 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 don't disappear on me. There's no doubt about it that this Speedy Gonzalez can do it. So, let's just get this guy going. It's funny because it seems to me that even this tractor is being lifted a little bit from the back by the plow, so the plow must have a bit of weight to it. It may look a bit small. I realize that this is not a realistic plow, so we are going to uh, we are going to change it out. But for now, that's all we have. Oh, there goes the sides. Oh no, it goes straight through. Them. That's all right. Actually, what I should look do I need to put lime on this field before I go any? further needs to be rolling but rolled but yeah I'm not gonna bother with that one it doesn't need line so that's fine okay so we'll back you up and set you on your way have I got the stones turned off uh, filled stones off yes beautiful so I can see some stones. I, I did see stones off, right? Where are you? Weeds, lime, filled stones off. Okay, we're not going to bother with you. We're not going to bother with you for now. Um, we don't need lime. So you're ready to go we will need to find where my sprayer is and actually set it up to spray the field you know what i'm gonna park you right here for now and um, go and find my sprayer is it in here no is it in any of those sheds no Okay, where is my where is my sprayer? It must be in this shit over here. I do have a sprayer, right? I do remember spraying the fields, so where is my sprayer? There's my sprayer, Kubota. Okay, I knew I had one. So where would I have left it? Let's see what's in this okay there we are. And we're at the bottom of the field that we've just said that needed to be planted, uh, to be fertilized. So we will need, we will need to give it a bit of time because obviously we just fertilized it for the first time. And we, how come it didn't, didn't I go once all the way around and it did not, uh, it did not uh, tap into this tractor or maybe I got out just before. Anyway, we'll take this back, we'll go fill it up and have it ready to fertilize this field again pretty soon. We do have quite a bit of area that we could extend our fields if we wanted to. But obviously, uh, we don't really need to. There, there is massive amounts of fields here we don't need to extend anymore. Okay, so we'll park you over here. We'll have to come and switch that tractor off. So 
so I will allow it to. I got plenty of time. So let's get back to this guy over here. Because we don't want the the plow tractor to catch up to us before we were collecting this straw. And by leaving this tractor here like this, what will happen is if the plow tractor catches up, will obviously slow down, uh, slow down completely, stop completely because we'll say something's uh, blocking its way. So, uh, you know, there is a way where you can kind of, if you, if you get sidetracked with something else, you can kind of make sure that you don't plow your field that you're harvesting still. I have done that in previous FS's where you forget about your plow and you set it and it goes and then you completely forget. And especially with these plows that they go through the equipment, so you know if it catches up to the combine, it will go through it. You won't recognize it unless the tractor itself happens to be in the line of the combine. So yeah, very very quickly you could find yourself that it just plows everything and then you're in trouble. Okay, so we'll do this. Uh, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with it. Well, silly. Of course I know what I'm going to do with this straw. I'm going to use as much as I can and then sell the rest. Uh, the beauty of this equipment is that imagine if you were collecting all this straw with a normal trailer. Uh, wow, I can't even imagine that I would do it. Uh, but I suppose you wouldn't need to collect as much straw if you're only using a standard trailer. You'd pick up as much as you need and just chop the rest. And I believe with the uh, mod that I have, um, chop straw, if you chop it, it becomes fertilizer. So that wouldn't be a bad thing because fertilizer is quite pricey. And uh, by chopping it, you, sac you sacrifice, you save quite a bit of money on fertilizer. So it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It'd probably make more sense to chop because I would assume that you get to save more money uh, on fertilizer than what you get per thousand liters of this of collecting the straw. Okay, we'll go to almost the end and then we'll stop and then we'll go and get the other tractor and we should get be at the point where we may need to empty the combine again. So this is one of the things with all these massive fields is uh, there's a lot uh, a lot of repetitive work. Okay, there you are. These guys going at 25 miles per hour, so doing good. Doing good. Okay, we don't need you. We don't need you. Definitely not you. And definitely need you. Oh, been letting you run all this time? What is diesel free? I'll put the beacons on just to be visible to the other. Oh, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Can't go that way. We'll go this way. And uh, we have indicators on the trailer here. We do. Just a way to indicate to the other guy that we're going that way. I suppose in uh, in reality, when you're on field, I've noticed that when they're on the field with multiple equipment, they're always running the beacons and I would imagine the purpose of that is obviously visibility to make sure that a combine or a tractor is visible or a truck is visible to the other the other people running the combine or whatever you know while we're waiting for that I want to check on my animals see what my animals are up to okay chickens food we're going to need to give them food. We're going to need to give them straw. So that's fine. Cows. They're plentiful because of... Um, okay, sheep, plentiful. Do we have any wool? Where is the wool? wool, wool. Wow, zero liters of wool. So um, we're going to need to start playing this map a lot more. As in, what speed am I playing at? Wow, I'm playing at 0.5 speed. I'll never ever progress if I'm playing at that type of speed. So that's why, you know, I'm, I've pro I haven't checked. I've probably done, I don't know how many episodes in the same month now. Probably one episode. Probably the last episode was in the same month. 
I'd have to check. I don't know. Come on, turn around. We'll wait for the combine to turn around and then we'll empty it. And uh, yeah, it seems like on this map, all I do is eat a cart, cut grass, take care of a certain animal, and repeat the process. Very nice tract. I like the messy tires. Look at that. That is beautiful. I wonder how much you would get. I mean, canola is not the best yielding out of uh, all, the, all the grains. I think uh, wheat and barley are the best. Maybe the potatoes and the beets are the best. You know, I could be silly enough to try and put beets on this. And... Uh, uh, you know, then try and harvest it. If I did that, either I would have to have truckloads of money, or just for that episode, uh, kind of add that equipment in, like sort of cheat it in. I don't imagine that I would even for a second want to uh, add uh, to try and, uh, and do beats or something like that with. <laughs> with just one combine and, you know, normal trucks and all that sort of stuff. I think as a multiplayer, it would be awesome to do. Um, things that are very high yield would be fantastic thing to do. Um, in the sense of, you know, having four or five players that are doing this, it would be fantastic. And there we are, we are full. So we are going to go empty it again. Now, I'll do this quite a few times, obviously, I'm not going to record all of it, and then I'll see you when we're done, or very close to done. There you are, I emptied my combine, uh, my, combi my uh, trailer, and the combine barely made it to the end, so. Nice, uh, nice uh, view from the cabin. You, you kind of get used to it and you kind of forget how realistic a uh, farming simulator is. Uh, you know, in certain, if you had a really high quality uh, screen and everything else, you would, in certain ma maps and in certain places, you would, you would struggle to know if when you're recording that you're not in a real, not in a real tractor. So I'll park him right here. I don't think he'll be in the way there. Okay, so we would have definitely filled up the trailer. I thought, you know, since I was in the combine, I just changed it to chopping it. We're not going to get quite there. But, hey, we get close enough. I slowed down the plow because it was very, very... Right, gone the right way. Yes, it was very quickly catching up to us, and I didn't want to do that. And I've decided that what I'm going to do is put uh, beetroot in here. For I realized that I have had a mo mod, mo no, a mod, um, especially designed for the uh, beets and all that sort of stuff and potatoes. And I don't think I've ever used it. Now, it's not a realistic one, it's got massive capacities. So, um, I'm going to put this field as a uh, root crop and add all those things in, sell everything that we make off it, and uh, whatever money we make, we're going to delete. So, so, I'm going to try and get a loan to get the equipment. If I can get a big enough loan, then we'll just get a loan and get the equipment. If I can't get a big enough loan, and we're just going to, because uh, I'm going to need about $2 million, I think. So if I can't get a big enough loan, we're just going to simply uh, add the equipment in. And then when we make $2 million, just pay it back. But I think I should be able to get as a big enough loan, loan to, uh, you know, to be able to do that. So it shouldn't be an issue. I say that, but then I hope that's true. Uh, but I don't think it should be an issue. I think it should be fine. 
all right so we need to give the chickens straw so we'll go there first well we need to come and empty the eggs this is what happens when you're not here all the time okay oh slow down Okay, wow, that was a humongous amount, wasn't it? I don't think the cows actually take straw because there is no manure pit. I think I may be able to add a manure pit, but I haven't done it, so... No, I can add straw there, so let's add straw. Wow, massive amounts. Is it here that I can add straw as well or not? Yes. Well, this one put a bit of a dent in our endeavor here. That's it. So we've got, we've added straw to everything that we could add straw. Straw filled up. Okay. Hey, obviously we don't need grass. And TMR, we could put 400,000 liters of straw. But this is, I, I love the setup of this map in the sense that if you put it to distributing, your animals just continuously fed. So I don't really need to do much to um, to feed the animals. I mean, there we are, the cows and all that are eating, but we got 60, 60. So, but wait till we get um, wait till we get more cows and all that sort of stuff in, and then we will all of a sudden we won't be saying that because the capacity of these uh, things, I think they're 500 cows each. So, um, you know what? I am going to. Put this in here because I just realized what I should be doing is uh, putting a um, storage for straw somewhere on the map uh, because I am saying now oh, I don't need this, 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 this. But you know what? I think I'm in the near future. It's going to come in handy to have a million liters of straw. Now we were meant to bail this and the baler that we used was very weak as you probably remember the tractor sorry that we used was very weak and the bay and the baler could barely move so now what we'll do we'll just allow it to okay i won't empty you there because i don't want you to be in the field i'm going to try not to take out that sign there Okay, so I will. Can I get over all of these things? Is it high enough? Oh, yes, beautiful. Okay. So, what I'll do is I'll empty you here in the middle of my row. Okay, it's folding up beautifully. And we're gonna put you where? I completely forgot how it actually folds. Okay, it goes up, yep. I'm not quite sure if you'll fit there next to the truck, but we're gonna try. If not, we're gonna put it, actually, you know what? We're gonna put it right here next to the mowers. probably the best place to be and I'm gonna even leave this tractor here I mean we have plenty of tractors at the other at, the, at our other farmyard so yeah don't need to carry all the tractors with us there. okay we're done um, I'm just gonna leave it to this for now truck is still here bales still here what is this all oh, my okay so we're gonna move a bit up wait for the combine to come down and then we'll go and empty it all right so combine is almost empty or well, combine is empty I'm just kind of Mosing along. Okay, well, 
I just realized what I did is I put my cruise control up, pressing the wrong button. And next time when I come to empty the combine, I'm going to go at, you know, 59 kilometers an hour. Okay. Oh, destroying the neighbor's field. You're not going to be happy with me. Uh, we can't, well, we can't sell it, but at best price would be, I think, in October, from memory. So, I'm, I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure it was October, the best price. So, we're not going to sell it until then. There's no much point just selling it. We are definitely in desperate need of money. So, canola, yeah, best price is in November. Two, six at the moment. We are at just one six. So well, they are two two. So it's not too bad there. We're only losing four hundred dollars. But we'll wait for the two six in November. We need money, but we're not in desperate, desperate, desperate need of money. Uh, I'm gonna go and collect the eggs, obviously, and then sell them off. So we'll have uh, some money. I was actually thinking of putting some greenhouses somewhere. I actually don't know where to put them, but it'd be nice to put some greenhouses somewhere. Maybe somewhere over there in the field. Just this part here where we've got plenty of trees, we can cut some of those trees down. Our red greenies will replace them. So we'll cut some of the trees down and we'll have plenty of space over there for... Hmm, maybe, maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But it'd be nice to sort of just have some uh, uh, greenhouses where we set them up to sell. Like, I'm not in the mood to go and collect them and all that sort of stuff. You just uh, add water and let them do their, their thing and then we'll just get it sold. So we're slowly getting it done. I honestly don't think that we'll almost have another episode of just me doing this. So I uh, obviously will not film another episode of me harvesting this because, uh, well, two episodes in harvesting it should be plenty but I'll leave it here uh, I'll obviously continue to do this and uh, finish the harvest and then we'll see you in August have a wonderful day wherever you are around the world thanks very thank you very much for taking some time to of your day to uh, watch my videos should you have any comments or any suggestions feel free to put them down in the comment section other than that have a wonderful day and God bless you and your family bye bye